What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claro. And this is Season 3, Episode 4 of The Expanse. The follow-up to the episode where the bomb was dropped. And holy crap. People died. People died. And it's sad. And I need to watch this episode because the fallout, literally, it was a nuclear bomb. Holy crap. Yep. You ready for this? No. If you want the full length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. But if you don't want to do that, stay here because you're already... I forgot what I was saying. If you don't, stay here because you're already here and the video is about to begin. Oh my god, are we going right back to the nukes? No. No, ships. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I. what is that? Cut to Rosh for 1,000 meters. Hey, look who's back. With a sexy vest. <laughs> I feel like this is the most ships we've seen on screen at once. Probably, yeah. I also love that like 99% of ships that we've seen are just like functional. Mm -hmm. Aesthetically, they're not like... And then there's the be... Razorback. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The race car. Yeah, and Mao's like shampoo bottle ship. Sure, yes. The perfume bottle, that was it. That was it, yeah. Yeah, and everything no, I... else is like for function. No, I totally agree with you. Oh shit. They got drones on drones on drones. This is really cool. Burn sequence. Let's get in turn. I wish I could like pull off her makeup look. Mm -hmm. But I don't look good with like the grunge eyeliner look. I think you're not trying hard enough. I love the idea of using a bunch of little baby drones to fly a ship. Yeah, right? Do you think the proto molecules on the Novu? Probably not. No, I don't know how it would have gotten on there. I don't think so. God, I'm so nervous when Fred Johnson gets this ship back. I, like, want to believe he's not going to use it as a warship. You know what I mean? I want to believe that. It's not really a warship. It doesn't have, it depends like... Depends on what you put the proto molecule into it. Oh. Oh. Uh. I'm actually surprised they need to break into it. I figured, considering they built it, they'd have all the keys. I don't think it's supposed to be accessed from the outside. Oh, uh, or maybe it's a power issue. <laughs> I just want a Mormon to pop out and be like, Hello, <laughs> my name is Elder Grant. And I would like to share with you the book of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nope, that's a person. Oh, wow. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. I was just wondering if I knew any of these people. It's a good lie, Alex, but we know you're all just traumatized over the message your wife sent you. We need a resupply. By Robin Graves. I feel the same way, but what else can we do? Dead people don't need their stuff. <laughs> Amos Thanks, like, Amos. I have no issues with this. Find us a likely candidate. How long until they bone it out and fix their problems? Um, you know, it depends. It's the skin of my enemy. I guess that makes this the skin of my ex. <laughs> Didn't they train you to bend people to your will? I can't even make you do what I want and you're half my size. <laughs> I get the impression he won't be able to ride the fence for long. Let's give him a push. Yes, that is correct. Kitterchenaman. I can't read. What is yeah, it? Kitterchenaman? Kitterchenaman. Kitterchenaman. Twisting humans into monsters on purpose. How could you do that to another person? Honestly, if I was turned into a hybrid alien space monster, the killing me would kind of be the greatest thing you could do. If I ever become a zombie or some shit, just kill. I don't want to. I don't want to be responsible for eating somebody. What or... if you have a conscience? What do you mean? Like, what if you're aware? Well, then I wouldn't be a mindless alien space monster. You say mindless, but that kid seemed in control. The kid, yes. The thing on the thing is trying to eat nuclear radiation on their ship. No, that's the line. If I'm still chatting, if I get superpowers, don't kill me. I'll do mostly good things with them. Are you offering to cook? 
Yeah. I mean, you don't have to. I know I don't. No, no, no. <laughs> what I meant was, that's really nice. Naomi's not up on her charisma checks this season. Oh, no. She is fucked. She's yeah. like, she's she's feeling the consequences of her actions. Yeah. With the razor back in this junker, we'll have ourselves a convoy. We're gonna run this convoy across the USA. Oh shit, somebody's alive. Someone's alive in here. Holden cannot go five feet without picking up a stray. Yeah. Mars wouldn't leave us behind. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yeah, ish. Yeah. Mars clothing. Mars. Alex is Mars? Mars? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Bobby, so they're like 20% Martian. The General Assembly will convene in five minutes. Please take your seats. I do like that the UN General Assembly is a assembly hall, or is a symphony hall. Yeah. Mars has instead insisted on in what it calls independence, which is actually no more than a justification for war and violence. This isn't going the way she thought it would. But as the moral leaders of our species to unify our factions. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. Thank you for your help. What an asshole. Yeah. Oh, Aaron Wright. The number of ways I want to punch you in the mouth. Yeah. I give you a one. I give you a two. I give you a three. Good speech, though. Don't necessarily agree with the content, but delivery. On point. Ah, uh, this dude. No, that child died. I didn't take it with me. Yep. This motherfucker. Strickland. You're strictly a moron. Dizzy. Attempting to reassess. Interesting. So beautiful. You certainly are. I was cool. I wasn't worried. We don't leave our people behind. Yeah. <laughs> You're James Holden. All right, easy, easy, guys. Uh, this is a stolen Martian ship. It's our boat now. Not really stolen. It was given to them. It was. How are they? Welcome to go in. Might make them feel better to see one of their own. I'm not sure they see me that way now. <laughs> She's also a fugitive from Yeah, us. yeah, that's rough. You hungry? What? Food? You put it in that big hole in your face? <laughs> Good talk. I'm not surprised now we can't cook. Yeah. I'm sure we the ship's reactor isn't gonna blow up. Not very. <laughs> here. I can't tell if Amos is like respect or if Amos is like what the fuck. Yeah. I said settle down. Well. <sighs> fuck. Amos is Amos is not gonna be kind to them. No. And Anna is an outsider with direct access to Soren Tagillus. And Anne Wright doesn't own her. All right. Okay. Make it look like it's not military related. Find us a router to bounce a type beam off of. Something that can't be traced back to us. Send it out as quietly as we can. It's ironic because this is what Naomi wanted him to be like last season. And now she's upset. Yeah. They've like completely flipped. Sending a message. 
Nothing more. You can't trust her. And I can trust you. I'm gonna help Amos with this. Don't go down those stairs. There's some very angry Martians with a gun. Uh, yep. To get it away from the debris field while we worked on it. Doesn't matter, it's junk. Cut it loose. I can't abandon two of my crew. I know you understand that. He's like- This is making man. the Martians not look good. Well, I think they were meant to be kids. They were like, he was like, I forgot all my training. Like, yeah, they yeah, like yeah. seem to have been like thrown into this like too early. Yeah. <laughs> I really did not think this through. The thing is, I want Bobby to get involved yeah. and see what what does Bobby choose to do. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fuck, dudes. Put it down. You first. Do what he says. I just sent out the master alarm, which means you have between now and whenever my mechanic gets back. <laughs> Then. There's a version of this where nobody shoots anybody. <laughs> hey, fellas. <laughs> so what's all the ruckus? <laughs> Pointing a gun at Bobby is bold. It's yeah, a bold choice. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. No, I would not. Oh, Amos. So you're pointing that thing at me and I'm going to take it away from you. You think you can? That's recon gear. Lofty, she could force feed you that gun if she wanted to. I prefer it didn't come to that. Hmm. I want You want to fight the enemy, I know. But I learned a while back that the hardest part of this game is figuring out who the enemy really is. Let's go, Bobby! Ah! We'll find another way. Oh, no! Okay. Woo! Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Did I miss it? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Did I miss it? I used to believe that there was a decent man somewhere inside you buried under all that ambition. I'm sorry I was so wrong. It's hard to find the decent man around the hand up his ass, puppet in his mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. You really gotta like dig. It's like wrapped around the wrist somewhere, but I don't know. It's nice to be working on something that's easy to repair. Yeah. Some things don't get fixed. Ah! Oh my God. Wow. I never thought I'd see wow. Amos punch Naomi in the stomach and yet there we and are. And yet, holy shit. You're Christian Avasarala. Yes. The UN Deputy Undersecretary. This is going to be very tedious. <laughs> I don't understand. What the hell kind of a ship is this? Right. That's a great question. You want me to go back and tell my CO to hail a UN and admiral in the middle of a war? Yes, exactly. Thank you for understanding. Well, Holden here can space the three of you for being such intolerable idiots. Honestly, I can go either way. <laughs> <laughs> Time is short and I'll be brief. I want Aaron Wright to come up it so bad. Yep. I have no idea what the best thing is anymore. Hey, my love. I, I haven't changed. That was a sick focus pull. God is humbling you using a solar system wide war <laughs> is ironic at the very least. <laughs> I love you. I'm I'm coming home. They're so sweet. I know. We love you. Come home. I am on my way. Avastrella's beam comes in in three. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah. One. They have really built their relationship so well, considering she's, she's barely acting there. against a wall. Yeah. And they're adding in the video later. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. Oh. Time is short and I'll be brief. It is crazy to me that I think that by the time we get there, that would be an unbelievable video. Because the distortion, people just go, oh, it's AI. You know what I mean? I don't want to think about it. Oh, I don't either, but... Couldn't let them kill the only decent cook on this tub. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sailor. Mm. Let's wage a war on that gut. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We're getting a lot of scenes of that gym from now on. Yep. I'll get her. I really feel like Jules Pierre Mao is not equipped for this. No. He needs to hire, if he's going to do this, hire some like child specialists. Granted, child specialists probably don't want to work on this kind of work, but. True. <clears throat> I mean, you know, he was already like a bad dad once time around, so it stands nah. to reason that he's going to be bad the second time. But May's going to lead him to Strickland's secret. I want to see Katoa. Katoa's in here. Why do you say that? I saw his nurse go in there. <laughs> Let's go, May. Sir, we were so close. I couldn't in good conscience abandon the test when we were so far along. Don't bring May into that room. No, what are you doing? Told you he's a bad dad. I feel so weird. My hands. He killed the nurse. Inherent to repurposing. Disassembly reveals useful pathways. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> Why did you bring me in this room? You are right to continue. He's the key to everything. Oh, you gave up on your spine and morality real quick. They're meow. Meow. Ah! Cool. Yeah. Wow. Uh, excuse me. Um, that's a big ol. You know that, what I mean? Like, looked really good. Yeah, <laughs> like, well I, done. like I know, like I'm props like department. a gross thing to say, but yeah, holy props shit! Props crushed it. Yeah, yeah. Props to props. Props you know? to props, man. Um, wow. Yeah. Ketchup budget was high, but it was worth it. Uh, that was fun. Great. I mean the corn syrup. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wow, that was an episode. God damn. I like the three little idiots. They were fun. Yeah. yeah. They, they felt like kids. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, which made me sad about it. Because I was like, oh, these poor kids should not be in war. No. But they were saved. Yeah. And, you know, they, like, went off. Like, they they have the choice now to moving forward. And they have information to, like, hopefully, like, start making choices for themselves. And, like, that that's not nothing. Yeah, I think they should be honorably discharged and they should, like, become farmers or something. I don't think soldiering is necessarily their um, strong suit. No, let them pursue yeah. other dreams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Low stress situations for those three. Yeah. Because um, the, the idea that you're going to be like, we're going to take one gun and then we're going to take on a whole ship of a crew that we haven't met yet. They just almost died. <laughs> you know, they're oh, not like... Oh, 100%. 100%. All 100 thinking clearly. That's when I'm like, let's, hey guys, let's get back to 100%. And then and let let's let's get out of this room, and see what the situation is. Yeah, they go full like chill, uh, children of the flies. What is that? Lord of the Lord flies. Of the flies uh, a fictional play that is not based on reality. Book. Uh, first. Whatever. It's still it's all a lie. Um, yeah. But uh, they they go full Lord of the flies so fast, being like. There's probably only four other people on this ship. We can just take a gun and this will go fine. Yeah, it's fine. And then fucking Bobby shows up and the guy's like. <laughs> that's a that's a Marine. That's a, that yeah. is, that, that's a Marine. And then Amos, Amos shows up and is like disappointed he didn't make it. God damn it. But I let's be honest, it. it's great that Amos wasn't there. Because if Amos was there, they would be dead. Okay. He's mad at Naomi, but if you point a gun at Naomi, he will kill you. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. There's still love there. Oh, for sure. There, there's, there's not trust, but there's love. And mm -hmm. yeah, I wouldn't, I would not fuck with this crew. Granted, no. I know what this crew has been up to. This crew is True. so good that Bobby was like, "Wait, you killed that thing, and it killed my entire team." But All also, right, respect. he was like, "Wait, you're James Holden." Yeah. Like he like knows that the, there's some some something going on. They're not like a normal, you know. Oh, they got they got very lucky that Holden is a nice guy. Yeah. They got very lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Because if they pull that shit on any other belter ship. Yeah, no, goodbye. Um, great episode, though. I love what's going on with uh, the the Secretary General. I love that Valvalovlovlov got, got the... Um, and and the Valvalov. Yeah. Yeah. Volvagia, the boss from the Volcano Temple in Ocarina of Time, uh, got the video. Uh, and we're going to see Aaron Wright's come up in eventually. I don't think it's going to be next episode. No. But soon. No, she seems smart enough to realize that... 
she has to like play the cards right for it to for it to stick. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um. So, well, or maybe I don't know. We'll see. Maybe she might just fucking broadcast it everywhere. <laughs> she might. She's so mad at him. She might just try and hurt him. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll see. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's so curious. I, I, I'm, I'm excited for the team to get to IO. It is kind of fun that we had this like really important Aaron Wright video, uh, in Avasarala's hands, and now it's out of Avasarala's hands. So like, what is Avasarala's part in this story right now? I'm. It's pretty. She probably gave him a copy. You know. She's no, no, gonna... but I mean, like, her job was her. Her like goal was to disseminate it, and she's done that. So in terms of the IO mission, what is her place in that? Right. Um, and I think that the, she's going to find a way because th- the thing I th- know about this character is that if she can meddle, she will meddle. Yes. And so I don't think she's going to like stay on the ship with Alex and like no, hang out. Fuck no. Yeah. 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 I'm. I want Avastarala with a gun. I think it's going to happen. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> she's going to be like defending the airlock by herself, just like Rambo style. I just love everybody so much. Yeah. Like I find it. It. I find that it's rare to have a show that has like. A sizable cast of like main characters. Yeah. That I find all of them equally fascinating. Well, and the show is so good that the epic opener of um I can't I never remember her name, but her getting the Navu back, which is visually Carmina. Carmina. Yeah. Uh, one Nina of the, drum drum drummer drummer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of my favorite visuals of the show mm-hmm. of the space stuff, right? Mm-hmm. That that epic opening moment is maybe the worst moment of the episode. Yeah. And it's such a good it moment. It starts at 10. Yeah. And it goes higher, yeah. But, like, the, the, you, it, this episode starts with this, like, kind of epic, like, cool space, just just a salvage moment, but it, that is shown to be, like, the reality of how difficult that would be in space and how many people it would be. In Star Wars, it's like the Millennium Falcon hooks up to tow cable and tows it to Tatooine. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? This is like, no, like the, this How is, would you actually do that? Yeah, and so that scene is so cool. And yet, that it is maybe the least interesting thing part of the show. And when that's the least interesting part of your episode, it's like, well, yeah, this, this is pretty good stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. Pretty, it's, it's, guys, I don't know if you know this about The Expanse, it's but pretty it's good. pretty good stuff. It's pretty good stuff, you know? It's pretty good stuff. Oh. I also, I, I like, um, one of the things I really like about this episode is Naomi realizing that Holden is the man that she loves. Yeah. Um, and that it's silly for her to be mad about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's He is the person that he has always been. Yeah. And she can either accept that or not. Like, that's on her. It is not on Holden. And her being mad about him being the person he's always been because she's upset with herself because of the situation she got herself into is silly. And I, I without having any dialogue about it, I felt her performance acknowledge that, and that's good acting. That's good acting. It's good acting. We love to see she's, it. She's in good. She's a good actress, mm-hmm. and uh, the show's over now. So I'm I'm curious to see where she's gonna pop up. Uh, this whole cast, like Wes Chatham's gonna be in Ahsoka. Yeah. I'm like I'm so excited to see these people now that they have this show that's kind of universally acclaimed. Like critically, it, this was not the most watched show on the planet. But critically, the show is very highly regarded. Yeah, I mean, and, IMDb on the screen says eight point five. Like that's yeah. not nothing. Um, yeah, and that's IMDb, which is a hellhole. It's uh, almost as good as as the Attack on Titan rating. So know. you know, if, IMDb's personal ratings, and once you get past season one, oh no, IMDb is is garbage and should not, you like you shouldn't be taking those like ratings as law. Be, because once you get past, past season one, you're only getting people who continue past season one, which are people who either one star or five star, or yeah. ten star. Yeah, 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 and there's very little people who are like, yeah, I liked it but didn't love it. Yeah, We're doing yeah, past yeah. like the first few episodes, right? Um, but I, I'm excited to see these people pop up because they do such a good job on the show. And I hope that this, because the show probably didn't make people a lot of money, it, this isn't a syndicated TV show where they became, you know, like friends or these shows that once you hit 100 episodes, you make buco buco bucks. Right. They didn't get their 100 episodes. And so I'm hopeful that this is, the, the work is so strong on the show. I'm hopeful it's a springboard to so many things for these actors. Because it really is, it really is just one of the most successful, consistently successful shows I've ever watched. Mm-hmm. Truly. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I, I just love it. I love turning it on. I love the opening theme song because it means I'm in for a ride. Yeah. And like even, fuck, even Anna and her wife. So well, I'm good. assuming they're married, but. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They're her partner. They, she, like, she's acting against a wall. Yeah. And yet their and relationship so is so sincere. Right? It's, I like, I just, I fully buy it. And I, I like, actually teared up at her losing it there. And yeah. like. Yeah. I'm so glad that in the future we've gotten rid of the delay, you know. <laughs> There's no like, oh, no, no, 
So, no, sorry, you go. No, you know you go. No, sorry, you go first. Well, yeah, that's because they're adding it in after here. No, I I know. I'm yeah, just yeah. Kidding. Um, no, no, I agree. That's funny. No, it is interesting that there's no AI. Weirdness. That that is the one thing that makes this show feel like science fiction. Or, or they've outlawed AI and AI is legal. Maybe because the, like I was watching when that video popped up because I was watching. There's a Twitch stream running right now that's um a completely AI voice and video debate between Trump and Biden yeah. saying the most un, like unhinged things and because it's so unhinged you know it's AI because it's fake right but I was like if if we're already at this point there, there was a streamer to, um, who tweeted today about how her parents got um a phone call a phone call that uh, and uh, extorted money like her, yeah or tried to or at least the one no, I no, saw I, I, they I, tried to and failed oh I read mm, oh I maybe they failed I, I don't know but the, the, the you know we're already kind of at this point with AI now and so because it's such a prevalent part of every conversation that I'm like every podcast, I'm like AI this, AI that, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the Secret Invasion opening credits. I, watching this science fiction show mm -hmm. that takes place in a real fictional future for us that has no AI is so like almost anachronistic right now. And that's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. If I, it's, you know what, this is, the, you bring up a good uh, point. If, if I ever... If I ever get a phone call and you're in trouble, you got to give me my PIN number first so I know it's not AI. Fine. Our password. Mm -hmm. Great. Cool. Yeah. Set up safe words and shit. It's important. We're going to have to. I know. And uh, it's one of the things that I think is going to be really interesting if reaction content doesn't get demonetized, right? Because at some point this could, this, this meta of YouTube could go away. But... Um, for legal reasons, but if it doesn't go away for legal reasons, I think there's a really interest. There's going to be a really interesting argument that this will become people's favorite content in the future because it will be the only genuine human interaction online. Right. Yeah. I think that, and and I think that people already feel that way about a lot of things. Like I feel like there's so much that is false, and I think that you know reactors that I see fall off really quickly are the ones that are accused of being false. Like if if people hate us for our reactions to Attack on Titan. Or, or hate us for our reactions to whatever. I don't think anyone hates us for our reactions to the show because we just slobber all over it. But um, It's hard not to. But but I don't think that you can watch what we do mm -hmm. and accuse us of not being genuine. Yeah. Right? We shit on way too much stuff. It would be so much better for our careers to be nicer to things. It just would. That, that's just the reality of it, right? And we would probably make more money. But we don't want to do that. We want to be honest. Yeah. And if... I, I think that j the people who can stay genuine in a world of AI are going to be the people who succeed because I think that we're all going to get really tired of the fake bullshit because there, we're almost to the point where AI is going to live in the uncanny valley. Yeah, yeah. I it's also, not quite there yet because still when you look at it, you're like, that's AI and I can hear it. I know that that's AI. And it, it's it's going to get, there's going to be a few years where it is so close to real that it makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. And then it's going to, and, the, and then it's going to hit real and it's going to, all the bets are going to be off. Yeah. But there's going to be that weird valley moment, and the people who are being genuine in that valley moment are going to be the ones that stay strong. Well, it's one of those whatever. weird things where, sorry, this isn't, like, exactly related to the show. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, this is just an... Uh, oopsie doopsie. Um, but it is one of those weird things where I, I think that reaction content and live streams are popular because people want a genuine human experience and interaction. Mm -hmm. Because, like... So much of, like, Instagram, for instance, is the the best parts, the best snapshots, screenshots, whatever it is. Like, you know, people putting their best put foot forward to make it look like everything's great and fine and dandy or whatever. And then on that, on the same side of that coin, but also on the flip side of that coin, it, it's those people who everything is a train wreck and their life is bonkers and everything yeah. is, like, so unhinged that it's, like, that's also not real either. Which, But when you're, like, live streaming, that's... That that's not it can't be really like scripted in the same way it it can be similarly but like uh, you know it's people hanging out playing video games hanging out cooking yeah. hanging out talking watching Human a show connection. together you know like well it, but it's why like we you know we have a lot of models in our friend group and oh yeah there are some of them who you look at their Instagram and you're like oh god that is not what your face looks like yeah I'm not gonna name any names they know who they are um <laughs> I don't need to but uh. I, I see those people either they, they, they cannot do anything in video or in 
like person because as soon as you see them in real life you look at them and go wait a second oh your shit's all a lie yeah right and like i the, there the, there are some crazy edits where i see people that i'm friends with and i know and i'm like that isn't your face like girl i and but yeah. but there five years ago that was so successful yeah. even like 10 years ago right like i think 2010's youtube was this boom of like all of these bullshit artists being like, look at my crazy YouTube video. My life is Choppy perfect. editing to make it seem like it's like this larger than life shit. And I think, you know, like I think that that's what like the Logan Pauls and them blew up in was that like, I'm going to spend 10 million and they're not actually spending $10 million because it's sponsored and it's all bullshit, right? And then that kind of went away. And, and the only one that's really or still around is Mr. Beast because but, but, it's... No, but Mr. Beast wasn't that. Mr. Beast followed that and was, what if those people were genuine? Yeah, And yeah. Mr. Beast shit works because he he's doing what all of that fake bullshit was. Yeah. But everyone has a connection to it because here's a hundred real people sitting in a circle for 50 hours, right? Yeah. And none of it's faked. Yeah. And the, the people want that genuine shit. Yeah. And, and this show... Year- is full of genuine shit. And I, love I, it. and I wonder if AI does come up in this show because it is meant to be like, you know, uh, like not so different future. Of, well, the problem molecule world. kind of is what it, it, there, there is a reading of the show where you could look at what's going on with our world now. If this show is being made right now, yeah. I would say that this show is a commentary on the disruptive influence AI has on our society. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Um, I just think that the show and, and the books were written too early to be a specific discussion of like what ChatGPT is doing and right. what's what going on with Bard and all of these things right now. Yeah. But the, there is an interesting t- way that you could tie those two things together. Yeah. Sorry. I keep seeing like those influencers online who are like, if you're not using ChatGPT, you're falling uh, falling behind in the content creation game. And I'm like, what the fuck? if you are using ChatGPT, your content probably sucks. Uh, but that's it's my opinion bonkers. as someone who. It's crazy out there, human y'all. beings are still more creative than computers. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. Mm-hmm. This episode, that algorithm goddess is Christian Avrasarala because she got shit done and she looked great in and a if, white power suit anyone, doing it. If anyone knows where to get that suit, <laughs> like, I'm not joking. Like, I legitimately just, I want that. I want to just wear it to cons and see if anyone recognizes it. It's so good. It's, it's so fun. Yeah. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clara's Polaris. Do something nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye, guys. Bye.